Hey guys, it's Erica with Not Your Average EDC, and today we're talking about iconic folding knives. But first, quick update. Um, we have a decision made about the 945. I have my Carta scales coming in for this. Um, Jeremy very kindly bought them and is having them sent here. So we're going to try giving this a shot with my Carta scales. Uh, those won't be here for like at least a week. So um, I am going to move forward with also testing different sharpening methods for this. And once the scales get here for this one, I honestly think I do enough cutting in a day where I can run all three knives, which sounds crazy, but um, the votes were like through the roof for the 940 sharpening this. Um, but now that we have different scales coming in, like I can't just disregard that. I didn't know they were coming in. So like, we just have a lot going on here. Um, so we're gonna do the, the bug out, like I had mentioned. We're gonna do sharpening with the 940, like I had mentioned, and my, the, uh, my card of scales on the 945. We're just doing it all. Um, so with that being said, we're gonna talk about two iconic folding knives because this has been a huge topic of conversation um, for eternity, but especially lately with all the talk about the 940, the 945, um, these have been a, a, curi a curiosity to most people for a long time. And these, in my opinion, are two of the most iconic knives ever. Um, I'm not saying they are the only two, there are many iconic folding knives in the community, but but out of my collection, these two are the most iconic. So we have a, uh, a Sebenza 21, a small Sebenza 21, old school. And we have a Benchmade 940, also like the original configuration. So I get a lot of questions and a lot of comments as to why they are so iconic, why they are so popular. Is it just hype? Is it um, real life? Are they really that good? Some people say this is absolute garbage. Some people talk about this like you would never need anything else in your life. Why are they so iconic and where did that come from? So these are my opinions, my views, my experiences. Um, so if you're curious, listen listen to this. So in, in life, we have uh, people making statements all the time. They're not opinions, they're statements. And sometimes we have people that make statements that are very intelligent. And then sometimes we have people that make statements that have no intelligence behind what they have said. So um, in my opinion, people like Chris Reeve and Warren Osborne were very smart. Um, Warren was a designer. He wasn't necessarily a maker, but he was a designer. This is not his only design. Uh, Benchmade has numerous designs from Warren Osborne. And Chris Reeve was a designer, but also a maker, a machinist. Um, he designed the Sebenza 21, but then he was also the one hands-on making it. And these people were geniuses, in my opinion. Um, so the reason they're so iconic is because these very intelligent people made a statement. They said, uh, like Warren Osborne said, I'm, I designed a knife and it's a multi-tool knife. It is a one and done knife that won't do everything perfectly, but it will do a lot of things very well. And um, this knife is going to be a, um, a screwdriver and a pry bar if you need it to be and it's going to um, clean horse hooves if you are out in the field and need to scrape out your horse's hooves. And um, it's going to uh, be a decent cutter. It's not gonna be a slicer, but it'll cut open your feed bags out in the barn. And it also is going to be long enough to be able to reach and do all types of um, tasks aside from cutting. Let's say you're out in the field and something gets tangled up in your tractor or your uh, rototiller or something. Uh, this will have enough reach to reach up in there and get loose whatever is stuck. Uh, and these were not ideas of Warren. These were statements. These were things that this design could and would do. Now let's go to Chris Reeve. Chris Reeve, literal freaking genius. He said, hey guys, I'm from Africa and I'm gonna make a knife 
that means it's going to be a work knife and its name is going to mean worker. It's also going to have steel that is corrosion resistant. It's going to have a blade finish that we have never seen before and I'm going to call it stone washing. And then it also is going to have a lock that we've never seen before and I'm going to call it the Reeve Integral Lock. And um, surprise, it's, it's being made right now by me in the USA. Um, these, these statements were not, they, it was not a hypothesis. It was not an opinion. It was facts because they actually did it and they were actually doing it and living it. And in life, when somebody tells you to do something or tells you that, uh, a product is going to work a certain way, generally speaking, we're going to eat it right up, especially if it actually does do that. So the reason <laughs> these are so iconic is because the designers said they were going to do something and did it. And these knives literally do that. So like I have proven with my testing that the 940 is Warren's multi-tool that he said it would be, that it really can poke and pry and scrape and drill and cut and give you leverage and a lot of length with that almost eight inch design. And Chris Reeve, I mean, he said, I will give you the ultimate knife with the best tolerances you will ever see with a blade grind, a hollow grind that will give you the ultimate longevity cutting wise. And there won't be anything else made better here in the USA unless you're paying thousands of dollars. And that is the truth. Like, um, I have my own issues with Chris Reeve knives, but I will say everything that Chris said about the 21, not speaking about the 31, the 21 was absolutely true. And you really design wise will never find anything better than this, especially made in the USA and same with the Benchmade made in the USA. So when people ask me why on earth, especially the 940 is so iconic because it doesn't slice and it was so poorly designed, you're wrong. <laughs> um, because the statement that Warren made about this is exactly what it held up to. And that's why it's iconic. Now, if you don't live the life that Warren did or that Chris Reeve did, or the life that the intended audience lives, you will never understand why this is as iconic as it is. You will never get it because you don't live in that reality where this works for you. So if you're feeling like it's not a good knife and it's not iconic, then it probably isn't in your reality because you don't live the life of a farmer or a mechanic or a homesteader or a carpenter. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it is aimed toward a very specific audience. And if you don't fit the bill, it's not going to work for you. So it works for me. It works for a lot of my brothers and sisters and we're obsessed with it. And that's where the obsession came from. It came from people that Warren was targeting that appreciated this tool, this multi-tool, as much as he did. And the only reason people argue less about the, the Sebenza is because this was geared toward a wider audience. This knife is much more flexible than the 940. You don't have as many limitations because this grind is much thinner. It's a, it's a little more, um, as slim as it is in this dimension, you just have a little more grip. Um, the, you know, the steel is thinner and easier to sharpen. There are just a lot of things about the Sebenza that make it geared toward a wider audience of not just farmers and contractors and like hard use, hard use, um, clientele. Uh, so the obsession with this one is, is a little more worldwide, but it is the same, uh, idea behind the whole thing as the 940. Statements were made, promises were made, and they were absolutely um, held on the other end. And that's why we love these knives so much. So I just wanted to kind of explain that for the people that just don't understand how I am so obsessed with this knife. That is why, because for me, it really does work. And it's just one of the best designs I've ever used in my entire life. Um, so with that being said, Go use your shit today, guys. Nicole and I will be, be doing a nice long video on our collections later. Hopefully it will be uploaded tonight. But go put some snail trails on your stuff. 
Go learn to sharpen. Go use your shit. And have an awesome day. I'll see you guys on the next video.